All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're gonna we're, we got War Four, Five, and Six uh, for Season Forty. Um, going up against C I R R, M I B R, and F and G in this video. Um, we're gonna get into it in just a second. Um, I don't. I think I had six fights this war. Uh, we got Domino on four A, followed by uh, Chavez on the shared four, five, and six A. Um, then we got let's see, I bomb on Hazard Shift, Mini right there, the Shock Incinerate. Um, I did a mastery switch for that one. Uh, specking full serum science. Uh, and then Annihilus on 6B, and after that, I don't remember. We're gonna find out together. Uh, but uh, here we go, let's get into this. So, this first fight, you know, it's Domino. Um, I, you know, maybe this is just a diversity placement, I don't really know. Forces a Nimrod, but Nimrod just hard counters her here because the node has uh, ability accuracy reduction with every debuff. Forgot the name of it, but um, Nimrod's immune to that against mutants, so it's of no consequence. So, you know, typical here, I mean, it's, it's basically impossible to die against Domino using Nimrod. As is the case with most mutants. Uh, so, yeah, a lot of parries here. Get your armors up, um, and then basically, you're level two. I didn't use any pre fights because you don't need them. This is a super simple fight. Um, just that level two and just move. So, yeah, there we go. We got Chavez next. Um, I don't remember if I removed Dexterity here. I guess we'll find out. There's the Max Serum. You see that? Uh, about a thousand energy resistance. Yeah, so I did remove Dex here. Um... I think I kept it on in one of the later wars when she was on the first note of 5A. Um, yeah, you can play it either way, you know. Uh, the taunts help, or the fury taunts help here. Uh, but generally, she's she's pretty cooperative with, you know, in regards to throwing her level 1. I always, uh, you know, do a couple parries here before I knock her down on 5A. Um, to, you know, load my power stings. But then also, I don't want to knock her down until she has a special ready. So that way, like, she can get up and use that special as opposed to you having to kind of dance around, um, you know, and wait until she gets protection back up because um, you can't parry stuff. So while well, she's got that debuff immunity from the knockdown. Um, So yeah, like, um, and because with Chavez, you know, when she goes for her heavy, um, you know, if you can't parry stun her, then she, she'll dash in, you try for a, you know, a re-parry, um, but most off, more often than not, she's going to go right into a heavy and then she's going to get a, you know, one of her parallel, her, one of her dimensions, which, you know, obviously you don't want that, so. I bomb. This is a this is a fun. This is always a fun fight. I mean, I bomb. You know, She-Hulk can generally come out with a full yellow bar. He is science, so she just shrugs everything. Um, Mr. Fast, Mr. Fantastic pre-fight siphon um, to mitigate some of that energy damage from both the shock and the incinerate. Um, and then we got you know serum science, so that's plus about a thousand energy energy resist, and then. You're reducing um, further debuff damage, um, DHC, I should say, by 25% uh, with cycling. So uh, I didn't map it all out, but it's, it's considerable. So uh, from what I've seen, like the incinerate and the, um, the shock on, on this node isn't really that strong. I mean, it does hurt, obviously, the stacks, but generally it's, it's not too bad anyway. But then, you know, she's going to shrug on top of, if any of those DOT debuffs just stick, um, you know, it, it, I think if one is on her, she gets positive heals. So, yeah, 
guys can see some whip baiting here um, after knockdown. Try to bait out those uh, specials. Yeah. Um, easy fight, easy fight. I needed it, right? Started off the season pretty poorly with my, I think, two deaths already, right? So, moving on to 6B. I think we got Annihilus and, oh, Storm, right, right, all right. Um, she hoped for Annihilus. Rock them. Uh, so what I've come to figure out with the, uh, this global, um, this, this defensive global, what is it, subdues attacker and then planetary might, um, is that, yeah, I guess the aggressive defenders, um, it, it's hard to hit their block, like, because they just keep coming at you. And so it's hard to even set up a scenario, you know, where you can, you know, step back and get a good block. Um, so, you know, having a global attacker that can also, you know, inflict neutralize and, and whatnot um, is really helpful. The Niles is generally pretty aggressive. And I think it, you know, if he gets all those debuffs on you, um, I think the AI gets more aggressive because he wants to get you in the corner and just start wrecking you. Um, so, yeah, like, the flourish definitely, uh, you know, my mistake there. A little overzealous. I zig when he zag. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, keep slow up on this fight. Bait heavy. You can see just a few hits now with all this flourish. I, mean, I, I don't want to push the level two, but just a few hits get some close. So a little mistake there, but no big deal. Handled it. A level one on that note because of that prowess. It, you know, if it clips you, it can hurt too. Um, Nimrod for the score. I think she does clip me in this one too. Um, it's a, you know, it's a straightforward fight. Um, I'm still not super familiar with her specials as far as like evading yet. I, I mean, I never fight her. I mean, she's rarely placed, even though she is global defense. Um, she's rarely placed, in, you know, not really that hard. Her specials are, you know, they're different. So, um, they can be a little tricky to evade fully. Um, and if you mess up, man, you're gonna get popped. Uh, shock on you, so, you know, Nimrod's not gonna do any damage with his shock, which is essentially where all his damage comes from anyway. But, um, he also is immune to the, um, ability accuracy reduction on this node, so he can carry freely. Now, I still think you get the block damage reduction, or the block efficiency reduction, um, but um, apart from that, I mean, it's, it's a straightforward fight. Um, you know, I do, I do destroy this one. Um, I don't remember exactly how it's worded, but the interaction is like, I think if they're shock immune and then also gain prowess, he just stacks um, those energy vulnerability stuff. And it's, it's pretty nuts. I mean, it just slows it down. Um, but anyway, I Doom wasn't in the plan, um, so Nimrod it is. Safe, gets it done. Uh, I don't think I had a White Mags pre-fight set on this, so going it without. Not a big deal. Rintra is, he's easy. He is an easy defender. Uh, his, his biggest shtick is just that, um, he's tanky, you know? He's just tanky. Um, the taunts obviously help in this fight a lot. His, both his specials are super easy to evade. Um, the level two, even if it's unblockable, um, you know, easy to evade. Um, you know, the biggest trick of him is just keeping him knocked down so he doesn't go unstoppable. Because I think basic attacks, they, they build his charges or whatever. Um, so you keep knocking him down and it reduces his charges. So. And it works. It works. Plays right with she won't spin the power stains. But they slow twice on each heavy. Now the intercept there. There's draft back light attacks. Let's see if we can get a level two in before. Probably not. Probably not. It's just the back attack. Yeah. So that might be done with the jack. But it is what it is. Yeah, yeah. So let's get up and do a nice stop. Try another one here. No, he's not going to fall for it. So we're going to reset and we're going to try again. Yep. Wake up intercept. 
re-parry. That's with me. Yep. Wake up. Gets up. Pretty good. Level one. Gonna try, try another one here. Grab back. No. Still doesn't want to fall for it. We're going to reset and we're going to try it again. I think I throw a level two here. Because I, I don't want to push the level three. I'd rather just, you know, use the level two. Really get some minimal damage. And, oh, look at that. Nailed it. Boom. Um, level two's in during that, that protection uh, down phase. He's almost dead now, you know. I, I was tempted right here to just back up and do a little bit of on the break, but eh, let's not do that, you know. Let's not mess around. Down, down, power stands. He may just die from a, a level one here, even with protection there. Yeah, falls over, flops. Um. Yeah, all right. I don't remember what these next fights are. We're gonna find out. Is this my APOC solo here? Oh, Mangog. Classic Mangog. Um, I do remove decks on this fight. This is this is a for sure dex removal fight. Um, you don't have to. I mean, obviously this fight can be done without, but. It's for safety, remove decks. You got the pre-fight for Mr. Fantastic, and you're gonna do a level one start. Um, and sure, you know, if you've got decks on, you can try to sucker me right at the beginning. You see that? Sneaky fucker. Um, you, you know, you get a level one start. Once you get your Petrify up from she hulk on that level two, your decks, you know, buff will actually reverse empty a bit. But that, you know, there's a lot of hits in there. So, it's best to just say, remove it so you can just, you know, not proc any uh, empty, not deal with any of his crap. No, very, very little risk uh, of that level two. Um, yeah, let's go for it. Everyone's running max stay in your ground now, but I pressed, I pressed, you know. Level two here, yeah, this should be it. Man, that extra stun duration on these large and extra large opponents, it's just, it's so big. It's so huge. You get an extra medium attack or light attack in before every head. It's just like, man, it gives you time to collect yourself, you know? You, you don't have to, oh, shit, can I lend the heavy? Now you've got a huge window of time to do whatever you want. Uh, doing another mastery respec here. Um, swapping over to Max Collar Tech. Um, and max inequity. Um, since, you know, willpower is irrelevant for Nimrod, but you gotta put one in there. Um, yeah, so, uh, this is a little bit of revenge. I already dropped two to this freaking tank. Uh, one with Vision and one with uh, Nimrod, actually, on Conflictor. Uh, I got thrown in. I had to figure it out. I panicked. You guys saw those if you watched my previous vids. It's a little bit of redemption here. That's a long fight. I mean, it's a rank five. I mean, what I do like is that I never really tried before. Um, I really, I guess I really never needed to. But uh, Nimrod, he, look at that. You can counter a box heavy, which I like. You can do a heavy, heavy counter. I never really tried it out because I didn't really, uh, I don't know. Just never really needed to, but... Uh, in my duels beforehand, I was like, oh, okay, well, this, this is good. Uh, and the reason why that's good, um, if it's not obvious, is uh, the Super Fantastic Free Fights. So it allows you to keep those up. It gives you a, a, an opening to keep those Free Fights up on a stun of you know. I mean, obviously, Harry knows, and that's probably why I never prep. I never checked it before, because I always find a option, and it's all no so, being able to do a heavy, heavy counter uh, on a stun you know is always awesome because it, it allows you to, um, it gives you an opening to keep uh, Mr. Fantastic free fight zone. So yeah, this fight is long. I mean, he's just got a huge health pool. I think it was like, I did mess up there. I think that was the, the one mistake I made. I don't know what I was doing there. Going for a heavy, something dumb. Mr. Perry, who knows? But uh, I think this guy's got like 500,000 health plus. Um, so yeah, I mean, you could do it. I don't ever run suicides, but you could, you could surely do this with suicide on, you know? Probably do it one, maybe two less level twos. Um, but uh, yeah, I, you know, I don't think 
to the side. I wasn't too worried about the fight. I mean, I, you know, you've got the technology, you've got the armor. As long as you get armor up, you can take a bunch of these hits on Rock. You know, you've already dropped uh, his prowess straight away, so, you know, the specials don't hurt nearly as much. Um, you know, basically, you've got to manage the turret, uh, which is, you know, pretty easy to do on this node. Get your opportunities like there, manage the flirt, and uh, just you know, slowly build up to each level two uh, with max charges and roll it. You know, and that's it. I, mean, I could have thrown one here, but I, you know, I, I like to wait just because when you get to ten, um, you get eradicate and it's, it's unblockable. Um, so you don't have to worry about you know, getting an open. So, I think it was the second level two right there, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah, you definitely need three. Now, if I haven't gotten a hit, I can probably get about a little over 50% health, maybe a little more, but um, yeah, he's just a chunky dude. I mean, I want to try I do him against him, because mine is only five, but... I don't know how these work on this um, mainly because, um, and also that I stopped it. It's so safe. It just is so long. It's just such a huge safety net. But uh, I do, he doesn't, he, you know, he won't be able to do his, uh, his essentially his passive stun, you know, location. You know, you land the shock, all that's, that's all well good. You can't roll into the passive, passive uh, stuns. So, kind of bailed on him despite the rank five, because Nimrod's just safe. You know, you remove that prowl straight away and kind of neuter him. Um, so yeah, that was that war. Moving on to five, war five now. Um, I don't remember how many fights, we're gonna find out. We got I, I Hulk here, pretty straightforward fight. I think I already fought him on this node, in one of the, like, war one, two, three, something like that. Um, yeah, he's, a, di a diversity placement. I mean, maybe you get you just slip up, you know. Uh, like I said, I think, you know, the slip ups really are only going to really happen you know, right there when you get punched in the face. But it didn't do much. But no, uh, like when he goes um, unblockable, there's just more mortality. Um, but mainly with his healing, you know, because there's like a window when he goes to actually regen, uh, where he's like, you can't hit him, you know, if you're hitting him, he'll just smack you. Uh, but even then, like, he's got to do some catastrophic, he has to mess up a lot, repeatedly, to get you know, killed, basically. I mean, maybe you get hit with a full level 2, you know, that may do it, but, you know, if you, can't, you don't want to bait it, okay, just block it, you know. Now, if he's unblockable like this and goes at level two, you're, you know, you can't evade it. You're in trouble. But right there, see? You want to get that little paw in there. Face back. Okay, warm it up, warm it up. Okay. All right, all right. All right, all right. All right, who we got next? Who we got next? Man thing? Someone green. I didn't, I didn't do the next man, there was someone else, I don't remember who it was. Um, Annihilus again, here we go. Shield. Bodies this dude. Um, he doesn't get armor up, so that's irrelevant. Rolling with some 20%s here. These were earlier wars, we were comfortable, so I, I don't run 30 in all of these. I wasn't trying to do that, but it worked out. Super level one. He will clip you. That's why I often I, I'll drop short on my combo now. Instead of finishing with a medium, if I push him over a bar, um, I'll just drop back because he likes to, you know, what he likes to, what he likes to do is you finish a medium. Full combo right here, right there. So you have a roll right into a level one. So if you're not ready for that, a lot of times, you know, you sit there and do a full combo, medium ender, and then you dex backwards, and he's jumping forward and he's gonna leap and hit you every single time, and it drives me nuts. So yeah, you can basically just um, 
finish a medium combo and then block. And if you don't have slow up, you're gonna get all his crap on you. Um, or don't finish with a medium, finish with a light, so you have time to dex back before he leaps and tries to clip you. Uh, yeah, I rolled with Mr. Fantastic on this one. I don't think I even maxed into uh, expecting him petrify, max petrify. Uh, just because, like, you know, again, these were kind of softer wars. And uh, I, was, I was comfortable and confident, you know, because once you get, you know, even two of his uh, pre fight sets up with that combat power rate, you know, one in Petrify, two combat power rates, I mean, you are stifling his power gain. So, you know, you get three and it's just a done deal. So, wasn't too worried about it. I mean, look at this. We're, he's already just melting. Oh, look at that. He's heavy. It's not doing anything. Right, yeah, right there, what I was, I was like, damn, like I tried to throw a special, it's a parry stun in this special, but that, this is a really tight window. You really do need to do a light or a medium in the level two. Sure, I would have taken a little power sting, but instead I take punches in the face. That's how you do it when you're a professional. Uh, but yeah, level one. You know, always want to try to end on a level one so you get those extra debuffs. Two extra pre-fights, if you can do that. Always end with the level one with Mr. Fantastic when possible, when safe, right? Like obviously if you are in trouble, you don't necessarily want to wait out and try to get that level one, kill him. Um, go right into Scorpion here, 6B. Um, keep slow up, you know, poison immunity. Don't have to worry about that. I'm gonna shrug any of this crap anyway. Um, he's a small, he's a medium player, I think. Um, so your parry stun is just standard. You know, you don't get that extra duration of allowing your extra large champ. Um, you gotta be a little quicker when you go uh, commit to your heavy, you know. You don't have time to think, you know. Yeah. Right, that level one, or drop to level two, maybe it does No crit, you know. And that level two is just meh. Unless it crits. I get a 50k crit on a level 2 against Mandog in like 4, 11, or 12. Second hit, 50k was nice. But that's not common, you know? If you run her with a crit team, though, man, it's pretty awesome. Um, Wong here. Who's this? Uh, where were we at here? I don't remember. Is this at the end of 456 uh, shared? 456B shared? I think it is. Probably Mighty Charge or something. Or maybe it's a box. No, it ain't. It's not. It's not. Kidding, kidding, kidding. No, 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 it's not the, uh, I don't know who the host is. I missed it. Oh, this is, yeah, 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 my bad, damn, I got lost. This is the second round of 6B, right? Uh, yeah, the, um, the one with the, uh, block efficiency crap and disorient that you parry. That's what you go about. Um, yeah, straightforward, though, you know, I just use those, you gotta pepper in those parries for the slow, um, occasionally. Um, so you're not stacking them. You know, because if you have, if you don't have any, if you don't have that uh, passive on you, the passive disorient, you're gonna land that parry stun every time successfully. Um, your, your AAR or your DAR uh, defensive ability uh, reduction happens. Uh, you know, it's like what 15% after that um, uh, disorient is applied. So if it's not there. You're gonna get a safe parry every time. Um, I think they might have, I don't remember what happened here, I don't, I can't imagine they banned Warlock, but I think they did, um, that was dumb, bad spacing, punches to the face, so that's what happens, you get punched, you know, but, uh, yeah, uh, it was probably like, uh, last minute planning, the plan was probably in order, it's like, damn, we don't have someone to take this, um, so I was like, alright, well, yeah, She-Hulk can definitely do this note, obviously. Um, you just have to, uh, you really need to just get that level two because if you can get that level two into Petrify, obviously your pre-fights, you can't put any pre-fights, uh, Mr. Fantastic pre-fights on them. They're just gonna fall right off. But if you, uh, if you win that level two, 
that petri her petrified stays up for, you know, it's like, what, 8, 12 seconds, 10 seconds, something like that? And, uh, you reverse the conflict of power for that duration. And you get not quite, you know, you can't, can't keep full up time on the petrified. Uh, most of the time, you can get to another level 2 before the power goes out. I mean, you can see that his level one just covers so much distance. It's like it pushes you all over the screen. So you're gonna get backed up. That's the thing. I think I dropped level two here. No, I don't. Smart, smart player right there. Never at Prox twice that petrified. So I was like, damn, I don't want to push him at level two because that shit'll hurt. And I push him anyway. <laughs> so I was in the corner. I'm like, well, I'm not just done. I'm like, let's go ahead and do this. Toxic aura, does it matter? She's all, breathe it in, baby. Breathe it in. It doesn't hurt. Let's do this. I think I was trying to do a special right there. And it just wasn't <laughs> <stop. laughs> was working. Uh, it was uh, my last fight in this board. No, I got another one, it looks like. Uh, Mangog, yep, yep, yep. I mean, you don't have a counter for him. He's gonna be here 70, 80% of the time. Um, don't think I've seen a rank 5 Mangog yet. Rank 4's pretty common, no rank 5. Um, I'm sure someone's got a rank 5 Mangog out there, but... You know the drill here, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Fantastic Free Fight. Uh, I may not have removed decks because of, uh, the war. Softer war, like I said, but... I don't know, we'll find out. Because that lunge, you know, you can carry that first hit. It, it, AI likes to just bring him right in. He'll throw that, Wah! and it's like, you think you're far enough away, and it'll clip you. Oh, double resist. You gotta respect it, you know. Gotta respect the double resist. Someone's running high, staying your ground, most likely. Maybe next. Um, uh, but that's the price that you need sometimes, you know. Yeah, he's got a little bit of, uh, yeah, I think I do have Dex on. I think I just saw a Dex buff, or I saw his power go up. And, and that's it. Um, so we're moving on to the next war. Um, last one for this video. Well, this was the only time we saw Cassie. Um, placed for this uh, this season. Didn't see her anywhere else. Uh, I can't remember if I had her three star duel. I think I did. I think I had three star. Um, she's a little tricky. She's got a decent evade chance. I think it's native. I don't remember if that's in her SIG or if that is, um, you know, what the level of the two or less. I think the cancel of the level two, but I don't even know if it's close to the head. Yeah, you gotta get that slow up. with all her uh, those things that she stacks, so like 14 stacks or whatever the hell, and I just purify them all, you know, at once, like, it's weird, you know, she will be like, I don't know if that works yet, but see, I got 14 of them, purified one, you see, that's what I was talking about, her slow issue, where, like, she inflicts slow, Removes that and then reapplies it on the second hit of heavy. And that's where, as you saw, the AI can sneak in there. Sneak right in there for a hit. But yeah, I mean, she doesn't seem like a great defender, maybe? Time will tell. I'm sure we'll see more of her. Man, not again. Thing is, is the level 
two that unblock the level two, I should say. Um, so place him anywhere else. I, I don't know. Doesn't seem to cause any issues, but he's a mystic nonetheless. So always uh, MD. Player. OGB. I'm sorry. Hello, you. Uh, yeah, Viz. Rank four Viz, getting some action. Safe, man. I'm gonna balance the safety. This is safe. Look at this combat power rating. I don't even think I, I expect him to max petrify. Maybe. Uh, something I can do. But that's it, you know? It doesn't matter that he's immune. I mean, it's helpful. But it's, you know, in terms of, like, her getting power, like, it doesn't matter. Because look at this. You just gotta suppress all of that. Yeah, you got a medium in the corner. Let's do it. Definitely, you have to burn a proper counter, or he is going to be unblockable the entire fight. So, if you have uh, OGP, you don't want to stop. That's that a big deal. Um, otherwise, I prefer AOG. You just have a little better, you have better control. So, what you do is not as unpredictable, it's not as unpredictable at all, really. Um, so, we're going to just keep these level 1. Occasionally, you might get it to a level 2, which is fine. But generally, I keep it level one, um, so that I don't get to the bottom of the world, because you don't want to have any more if you can help it. Um, and then three debuffs, um, get to the blocker, and you never get to the blocker debuff. Um, so, yeah, the rest of the fight is going to be a blocker. So, you don't want that to happen at all. And this node does have trouble in armor, so, um, you can't remove them. but always welcome, always welcome on 5B, always. Don't always want it. Um, I'm boss, but generally, uh, the quicker yet, uh, but to a mini, no, don't want it. Because if you have Petrify after respect, um, it ignores that. Oh yeah, that's a great other crafty. Draft back level 1 didn't work. I'm sorry, draft back to light.
at full work every time. Um, yeah, and down he goes. Had to do it the hard way, you know? Had to do it the hard way. No worries, just takes longer. I think that was it. I think that's it for my war, and uh, yeah. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.